Hello everybody, welcome back to another Kerbal Space Program video, and today's video we are going to be assembling a Saturn V in orbit using all fully reusable rockets. So yeah, a little bit of a fun challenge today. So right now we're going to be launching our very first payload on our very first rocket. So this rocket is by far the biggest rocket. Um, we're going to be launching it in three, uh, the Saturn V in three launches. So the first one is going to be the bottom stage, the second launch is going to be the second stage, and then the third launch is going to be the top stage, as well as the Apollo spacecraft, basically. Um, so these rockets get gradually smaller as, uh, as the video progresses. But uh, we're going to first start out by uh, staging away our side boosters. We're going to get some booster cams on, because uh, like I said, we are going to be fully reusing all of these rockets. So nothing, I mean, the, the fairings will be expended, but um, nothing else will be expended. So I uh, did some boost back burns with those, and now they're going to be coming back to the KSC. Drop them down to one time speed now as they do their little their little landing burns as that happens. Our core stage is going to be running out of fuel here right about now. Then it's going to stage away its, uh, its stage. And then uh, the second stage will begin to fire right now as the two boosters come in for a nice little landing. And we can switch over to the core camera. All sorts of boosters landing, right? All sorts of booster fun. Oh my gosh, so fun, right? So, uh, yeah, booster had to do a little bit of a burn to get itself... Um, far enough down because it's going to be landing on the uh, the next peninsula over. Um, I say that as the fairing is jettisoned on the uh, the main rocket, which is firing at second stage, which is also powered by vectors. Needs a lot of TWR to get going because this thing weighs all sorts of stuff. So um, now we're starting the landing burn on the core stage as we just get uh, get the last few hundred meters a second on the the main rocket to get ourselves into an orbit. Coming in a little bit fast with the core stage because we don't have any sort of air brakes or anything, so we're coming in basically full speed here. And here it comes in for a nice, a nice little land, a nice little land. There he goes. And then the, uh, then we can just basically fly flat with the, with the uh, rocket. We can go full screen now with the rocket, and we're gonna get ready to cut off the engines here in just a little bit. If you're enjoying the video, you know, subscribe button, right? Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Plugs time, right? Subscribe, Discord, YouTube, comment, likes, I don't know. Join my... Um... I don't know. I don't really have any other social media. Um... Yeah, I mean, you don't have to, obviously, but, you know, you know, it'd be cool. It'd be cool. I mean, obviously, I'm not, you know, not trying to pressure anyone, but, you know, up to you, up to you. So, uh, now we're going to get in the, uh, get, that'll be, that'll, that'll be my plugs for the video. Uh, so now we're just going to get ourselves circularized at around a 75 by 75 kilometer orbit, nice and low orbit, um, just so it's easier to reuse the rockets and stuff, because, hey, it's lower orbits, less delta V, easier. So there we go, stage away the core stage, or the, the payload, rather. And then we can get ready to deorbit our second stage, which is conveniently powered by vectors, which makes landing it very easy, because uh, if you use some of the, the uh, more vacuum-optimized engines, then they basically lose all their efficiency when you get low, and then doing landing burns is, is, is it's troublesome, I should say. So we have quite a bit of extra delta V in this stage, so um, we can use it to pretty much pretty accurately land ourselves at the KSC. I'm just trying to get ourselves oriented properly. Uh, try, still trying to do a lot of... Uh, slowing down aerodynamically but because of we're coming for orbital velocity the those engines get really toasty so we have to do a little bit of an entry burn to get the thing slowed down and not explodey right we don't like explodey rockets so there it is just getting ourselves targeted basically just in the general vicinity of the of the space center itself here now i'm gonna drop it down to one time speed as we start doing our land and burn another so many boosters to land right so much rockets so much so much reusability so cool i don't know I'm like the reusability channel <laughs> and I do I do a lot of reusable crap on KSP I don't know why it's fun yay fun stuff is fun isn't it <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about either way coming in now for a nice nice little landing on the on the ground on the ground might on the ground and really really milking this one aren't I <laughs> and touchdown T nice all right, we are going to get cross-faded over to this nice rocket number two, which is a lot skinnier than the first. Well, it's actually the same width, but it looks skinnier because it's taller and there are no boosters. I really don't like landing boosters. They're a pain. You have to land both of them, and yeah, it's just extra crap to land. So it's, I just thought it'd be easier to do it like Falcon 9 style. So this is going to be the second stage of the Saturn V that we're going to be bringing up into orbit. Um, the second stage is known as the S2A? S2 yeah, I don't remember what it's called. Um, some, someone, I'm sure someone will point it out in the comment section. Oh my gosh, it's the, I ain't, there are a lot, a lot of smart people here. 
uh, the watch video. So thank you guys. You guys are pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty epic. So doing the gravity turn now. I'm um, just about ready to deplete that bottom stage, and then we can get it uh, get it detached, get it in the top left corner there, and it's going to go ahead and do its boost back burn to head back to the Kerbal Space Center. While our second stage was actually skippered power this time, it's going to continue on up into orbit. Um, it's much easier, much more simple design of this rocket than the other one. There we go, staging away the fairing. Now we basically level ourselves out with the second stage. That's a really high TWR, so we're going to get into orbit, basically. We're basically going to be in orbit before the booster lands. This thing is... It's a bit of a zoomer, but a bit zooming. So, boosters are coming through the lower atmosphere now as I can get ready to start up my landing burn with it. As the second stage is just about to uh, get its apple apps up. Landing burn has started on the booster. Oh my gosh, guys, is it going to explode? Oh, it's not. I would have cut it out, obviously, but it would have exploded. So, here we go. And... And uh oh, sideways! Oh, bail, 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 bail! <laughs> I had a lot of extra fuel in the uh, in the booster, so I just decided, yeah, that wasn't gonna work out. Let's just let's just boost ourselves back up in the sky and, and get, try it again. Um, totally SpaceX approved procedure. That's obviously what they would do with a Falcon 9. That they're not coming in perfectly, right? They just they just fire the engines, go back up, try again. That's what they do with Starship, obviously. You know, belly flop's not looking great. Eh, just flip. Go back up, come another try. They totally have the fuel to do that, definitely, for sure, totally. But either way, the boosters landed, <laughs> um, and now we're we're getting our uh, our, uh, our rendezvous set up with the um, with the mothership or the the bottom stage of the Saturn V. I'm gonna do a crossfade here in a few seconds, just because I don't really want to bore you guys with the uh, with the forever it took to dock, because this is an unsurprisingly since as we all know I'm the king of docking, and I totally don't screw up my docking almost every time. And this is not an especially screwy docking because everything weighs so much and I didn't put very much RCS or reaction wheels on anything, so. And just another day, right? <laughs> um, so we're going to get ourselves uh, basically uh, canceled our, our relative velocity. Pump some fuel that I accidentally um, <laughs> accidentally left crossfeed enabled on the docking port that connected the, the uh, rocket with these, um, the Saturn V stage. And then we can decouple it and, and get ourselves uh, reoriented. To get our docking so this is also a fully fueled saturn 5. um the bottom stage actually wasn't fully fueled because it, it literally wouldn't have had enough it would have been the rocket to lift that would have been absolutely absurd um if you're trying to reuse it so we're, we're gonna have to do a little bit of a refueling refueling mission not really a mission it takes like 30 seconds um we'll, if we have a little bit of a guest visitor i don't know if you watch my channel a lot you'll know who the guest visitor is there's always one craft that i have is that is like always the refueler guy um, but anyway, now we're getting to the janky docking parts because, well, it wouldn't be a pilot video without janky docking, right? So just orienting the stuff properly. I had to turn off the main, the core end or the center engine on the, um, on the second stage because it would have just melted my docking part if I tried to fire it. I wouldn't have produced any thrust. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and slip this two stages together with that inner stage in the, in the fairing. I think it looks pretty cool because you obviously can't use the normal inner stage because, you know, they're not, you know, I, you know, yeah, no, yeah, no. So now coming in very, very slowly. Just got to get it nice and precise, nice and epic. I did actually give it a little bit of a boost there with the engines, but here we go. It is now slipped in the ferry and coming in for a little bit of a coupling, a little bit of a, a little bit of a get together. Get together. That was like a Nemo reference, if you know what I'm talking about. Maybe. I don't know. That was a good movie, Finding Nemo. I don't know why I'm talking about that. Either way. Um... So there's docking, so that's pretty epic. Now we can go ahead and we're gonna crossfade over to our, uh, our, our our stage landing here. Now, quick disclaimer, I was fidgeting around with the, the Alt F12 menu and I, I accidentally, like legit, completely misclicked, um, turn on infinite fuel. So full disclaimer, I accidentally used uh, infinite fuel for the landing. But if you look at my Delta V, I had a thousand, so we would have definitely, would have used half that. So um, we would have been totally fine. We literally very, we used very little fuel to land so. We could have done it, and I only realized it after I was recording. And I, I, if you know, if you see the time of this video's release, it's like midnight, so I, I don't have enough time to re-record it. So sorry about that, guys. So you just have to envision me losing Delta V here as we um, come down, basically, uh, yeah, inside a tree. Basically, <laughs> hello tree, and here comes the ground. This is a pretty good landing too. Too, it's kind of sad. It was kind of, I guess, cheated. But either way. We can cross it over to our final launch to get our Saturn V fully finished. And what is this? This looks like a normal Saturn V. It's like I'm launching my Saturn V with with the Saturn V. <laughs> um, uh, it's not really. It would have really meant to be that way, but it kind of just turned out to look like that. The bottom stage is a little bit too long, and the second stage uses a Rhino instead of you know um, 
gifts. That's yes, gifts. Um, but I decided not to put a fairing around the thing because it was naturally aerodynamic because it has the command pod on top. Um, so yeah, just doing the pitch over and over now. Um, getting quite far downrange before we separate the uh, the bottom stage just because it has a, it has quite a bit of fuel in it. So there it goes, separated. Then it can get itself flipped around and do a nice little boost back burn to the KOC. This is the most expensive boost back burn by a lot. Um, all the, the other rockets use a little more steep of an ascent profile um, just because their second stages were a little bit less powerful. I mean, this one isn't very powerful, but the bottom stage is able to boost it so far. We didn't really, you know, we didn't need a whole lot of power. So starting the landing burn once again on the bottom stage. So much rockets to land today, guys, right? Um, reusability, I guess, is the theme. So they're just kind of taking our sweet time to hover the booster. Like I said, like the last one, milk, milk in the landing, right? Got to get... Gotta gotta get the perfect landing, and I did turn off infinite fuel. By the way, if you were wondering about that, um, it is it is off. I noticed my mistake prior to this launch. So there we go. Bottom stage is now landed, and then we can get ourselves. Uh, we gotta get a maneuver plan to do a rendezvous. Um, with with this almost completed Saturn V, this is the last module. It's actually kind of crazy. Like uh, if you look at the payload, it was like 350 tons. 200 tons, 100 tons to <laughs> the rockets. They like exponentially decreased. It's kind of funny. Um, either way, uh, get our maneuver node set, and then we'll look. Like I said, do a. Uh, did I say that? I don't know what I said. I'm I'm confused myself, man. I'm a crossfade to uh, to the most janky docking that I will be sure to cut out some of because this was the most janky docking ever. Because fun fact, um, I put a, I put a fairing. Um, you can't see it right now. Um, okay, f first fun fact is I um, I put a um, a docking port right below the engine bell. I'm um, obviously kind of need to do that so then the, the stage can come together properly. But that means I couldn't fire the engine. So if my my top stage is basically uncontrollable. It, can have, it has RCS and some reaction wheels. That's all, it's the only way to orient itself. It can't like move forward, right? So that's problem number one. Problem number two is that fairing that I have on the inner stage um, is too long. So. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a bit of an issue. <coughs> um, that's hike off. Very professional, obviously. So I'm gonna I'm gonna crossfade across the janky docking until we eventually get ourselves into a little bit more reasonable of a position. This still isn't even that reasonable. We kind of have to come in pretty fast and hope it works. And if it does it work? Oh, will it work? Who knows? I guess I guess we'll find out here in ju just a second. And oh, it looks like it is. Oh, it slipped into the fairing. And oh, fairing is too long. I think it's hitting those batteries I have on the top of the, um, or in the bottom of the top stage. I think that's the problem. You can see it right here. I think they're hitting. So unfortunately, oh my gosh, guys, video ruined. Um, <coughs> um wow, my voice is dying. Um, <laughs> I I do in fact deploy the fairing and come together. That kind of looks bad. I may, honestly, I may just relaunch that at some point um, just to fix the fairing because that is a big old annoying. I wonder if you can build a fairing with EVA construction mode. I never even thought about that. I should try that. I should totally try that. <laughs> I don't know. I just realized that right now. That'd be, that'd be a great idea. I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments. They probably can't. It'd be kind of lame if you can't, but it'd be amazing if you could. Either way, our last stage, oh, this, is, this is a very epic moment in the video, our final booster recover our, our final rocket thingy recovered we've recovered we've landed one two three four five six seven this is the eighth one i believe i might have counted wrong it'd be really funny if i did eighth rocket piece stage recover that's a lot of re that's a lot of landings um and there it goes pretty epic landing i don't know maybe maybe not who knows either way um here's our refueling vessel and what else could it be but a starship um, yeah, that's that's yeah, that's kind of the thing. Whenever I refuel the craft, always Starship is going to be the thing that just magically shows up in orbit to do the refueling. So there they two two dock together. Really weird because I did it, I have an attachment thingy. So who cares? I just really wanted to get this bar done here. Um, and I have some pretty fun stuff I want to do with with Saturn Five. I have fully fueled Saturn Five now, so I can do some pretty fun crap. But I, I have something in mind. I have something pretty epic in mind. I don't really want to tease it much, but uh, I don't know. It's pretty epic. It's not really that epic. I have some more epic things planned. Hopefully, maybe, if I ever get them done. <laughs> I have my upload schedule has not been as consistent as I would like it to be, but um, hey, get what you get. Or I get what I get. And uh, hey, you know what? It wouldn't it wouldn't be a KSP video without your daily dose of Kraken attacks, right? So when I, when I staged away the Starship, or guy released it, um, that happened. 
I am still in control of the Saturn V. My camera completely screwed up. Like, yep, I can't control. I can't throttle because it says the vehicle is under acceleration. Um, so I can't go into non-physical time. I can. You'll see what happens when I try to. I like, well, pause menu. And then eventually I get into non-physical time warp after physical time warp when I get above 70 kilometers. If it, as initially it says I can't. But then I do that and big lag spike and yeah. And then yeah, we we die. We we're <laughs> we're yeah we're just. Um, it's gonna bring us to the end of the video. Just end on that note. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Please rate or comment to this video once again. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. And bye.